Jira rollout should be done in phases, right? It, it, you should you should be taking baby steps. Start with first project. For example, we were the first one to roll out our GSM project, and we got the buy-in. We got the excitement from everyone. So always baby step, baby steps, roll out in phases. Uh, the second thing is SLAs. Everyone talks about SLAs, but you don't have to start with like a very aggressive SLA. Use your Jira data to define your SLAs. GSM is great with that. Right? It tells you a story, trends, uh, patterns, different time zone support. So have your SLAs be data driven. Uh, third thing is enablement without proper user training sessions. A new new product launch may not be a big success. So always focus heavily on enablement, doing user training sessions, office hours. That is something we realized after we launched our first product that yes, we need to put more emphasis on enablement because sometimes a few of the a few of the employees may be using Jira for the first time, right? So that's that. Uh, fourth thing is process first, technology second. Uh, kind of ties back to the third point. Technology can solve a big problem, but you need to have your process uh, governance. I think Carter mentioned around configuration standards. So having those process guardrails in place, technology can follow after that. Uh, and, and also, as we launched JSM for different teams, uh, one thing that we kind of focused on was doing retros, right? After each go live, talking to the business, what worked, what didn't work well, how can we improve as a team, right? Like that definitely helped us, gave us information about blind spots. And the idea is again, right? Like the next team who wants to use any Jira product, they should have a seamless onboarding experience, right? So retros were super important. They taught us a lot. And I feel incident change and problem management are byproducts. Uh, everyone gets excited when they hear the word incident change, but you start small, again, you start tracking your incidents, then you start tracking your changes, and, and then you can automatically figure out the process gap, problems, and, and the overall service delivery mechanism, right? So great lessons learned, and, and, and it definitely helped us with a, a seamless launch.